Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. We are going to be talking about a certain feature that a lot of people simply do not know about. Now, this feature has to do with the S Pen, and it is incredible. So, let's dive in and get started right away. Now, first and foremost, you can see we have two S Pens right over here. Most people, if they got an S Pen, they got this one. This is the S Pen Fold Edition. Now, over here, we have an S Pen Pro, and S Pen Pro has additional features for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. So this one here is the regular Fold Edition S Pen that most likely most people got, or you just don't have any S Pen, but this one gives you the basic functionality. For example, you can press on the button, you can bring up the air command menu, you can click on create the note, and you can take some really precise notes as usual by selecting different pens. You can take some great shapes. So if I tap on this icon, I can draw perfect shapes as you can see. Square, circle, triangle, whatever you want. So you can do all that with this S Pen. This S Pen primarily is designed to write and also to access the S Pen specific features like the Air Command menu when you click the button that is right over here. But there's actually another dimension of functionality that becomes possible uh, with the S Pen if you get the S Pen Pro. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to my settings right now. Right now this S Pen Pro is not connected to my Z Fold 4. So I'm going to go over to my advanced features. By the way, links to buy the S Pen Pro is going to be down below if you like what you see. But once we are in the advanced features, here's that S Pen. It is turned on. If you click on it, you are going to see we have a whole bunch of options here. And all these options work with this S Pen except for the Air Actions. You can see for Air Actions, we need to pair an S Pen Pro, as it says right here. It says connect an S Pen Pro to use Air Actions, okay? So everything else other than the Air Actions, this one, this one, this one right here, all these are going to work with either one of the S Pens, the Fold Edition or the Pro model. But if you want to use the Air Actions, you have to buy the S Pen Pro, which is right over here. So let me show you what those settings are. So when you buy, or if you own the S Pen, what you want to do is there's two buttons over here. You click the top button to activate the S Pen. Okay, and it's going to start to blink. You can see there's a blinking light. Once the light blinks, if you have a Samsung phone right next to it that is compatible with the S Pen Pro, you're going to see this thing right here, My S Pen Pro. All you want to do is tap on Connect. Now that is going to connect to this S Pen Pro and it's going to unlock the Air Actions. And there we go, the S Pen has connected. It says the battery is 100% on this guy. So one thing you need to know, uh, you also got a quick tutorial. As soon as you connect this S Pen Pro to your phone, you are gonna get a quick tutorial. It talks about the connection button and all that stuff. And swipe over one more time. I'm gonna tap on OK for now. And I do wanna let you know, so the Air Actions menu is now enabled only with this S Pen. It says 100% battery. That means this S Pen actually has a built-in battery. Now to charge that built-in battery, all you have to do is take off the cap on the rear and it charges via a USB-C port, the same one that charges your phone. And of course, once you charge it, it's going to last for a long time. Anyway, let's dive in and talk about the actual air action. So what are they and why can't you do it with this one? You cannot because this one has built-in Bluetooth functionality that connects to the phone wirelessly. And now what I can do is I can use this pen to remote control my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So over here it says, hold down the pen button to launch whatever you want. So you can launch the camera or I can just launch any one of these uh, apps or actions that I can pick. I can even uh, use it to go home. So look at this. If I tap on this one, now this S Pen button, the main S Pen button, is designed so when I press and hold it, it takes me back home. So press and hold, takes me back home. That's fantastic. And like I said, it is programmable. So if I tap on this one again, 
And let's say I want to launch an application. Okay, let's say I launch, want to launch a calculator. Now when I press and hold the main S Pen button, it is going to launch the calculator. All right. This is all happening via Bluetooth wirelessly, and you can do it from a distance. All right. You don't have to be right next to the phone. You can, I can go to the other end of the room and make this happen. And that's when you would also use this as a camera shutter button remotely. So look at this. Let's say I set this press and hold the pen button to launch the camera. And then once I do that, I can scroll down and you're going to see a bunch of app actions. So camera has a bunch of app actions available. If I click on it, single press can take a photo. Double press can switch the cameras from rear to the front. And then we have a bunch of gestures. So let me show you how to use those. So let me show you how to use those. I'm going to go back over here. Okay, oops. I went to advanced features, S Pen, Air Actions. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press and hold to launch the camera because that's what I set it up to be. Press and hold. It launches the camera. Now I can press this button and it's going to take a photo. Look at that. It's taking a photo right now in night mode because it's looking downwards. I can double press to flip the camera over. Now it's looking at this camera right here, as you can see. I can double press again. I just took a photo by clicking this by mistake, but I can double press again and it's going to flip it over that way. Okay, so that is remote control functionality and it works with so many different applications as long as you have the S Pen Pro. If I go back into the S Pen uh, Air Actions, and if I scroll down, you can see I have the same thing for the gallery application, Samsung Notes, Clock. When I click either one of these, any one of these apps, it shows me what single press and double press does. Or, uh, for example, the camera, it even shows you what the gestures do. Switch cameras, switch cameras, next mode, previous mode. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to go home. I'm going to press and hold the camera and look at the gesture. The gesture is to press on the S Pen and move it a certain way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press it. I'm going to move it this way. You can see it just changed from photo to video. I can do the same the other way. So I'm going to press it, move this way. It went back to the photo mode. Or I can do it again. It will go to the portrait mode. So I'm able to control the entire camera with the S Pen remotely. And like I said, you can do it from a distance, I can go across the room and do it. It's great for taking group photos if that's what you want to do. All right, so that's just the example camera, S Pen, Air Actions. We said that we can do all this with these applications. Simply click on the application to see all the available options for that particular application. And look at this at the bottom, you can even control media. So if I had a music player running in the background, I can single press to play pause, double press to play the next track, and I can use my gestures to volume up, volume down, and all that good stuff. And then we have these universal gestures on the top. If you press the button and draw this gesture, it is going to take that specific action. Good news is, if you click this, you can also customize those individual gestures as well. So this is the functionality you get with the S Pen Pro. Remember, you do have to buy this one separately if these, these are the features you want. But if you don't want the air actions, let me just turn that off. You're okay with this one right here. This pen does everything else but the air actions. The Fold Edition S Pen Pro. This one does everything that this one does plus the air actions. That gives you the remote control functionality with Bluetooth. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?